Hey YouTubers, this is my latest project. This is old John um, building a media center. I'm doing a little bit of modifications, but it's a media center and this is the center console and there will be a hutch that goes on top of this and then a base unit that will go on the left side and on the right side and I'll show you more as I put this together I'm using uh, three quarter inch oak plywood you could use a cheaper plywood if you wanted but uh, this will give it a more professional look one by two and a one by three pieces of um, oak trim together using this jig and first process is putting this over the edge. In this case it was the board. And then inserting this bit into it after it's clamped down and then drilling a hole on an angle. And then you come back with a one and a quarter inch special screw which has a square slot in the head to screw them together. So I'm going to show you how to do that. There again this is the finished product. Makes a nice tight edge. You can use glue on this also to make it even stronger. Okay, YouTubers, here's uh, an update on my media project. Uh, I've got the console together and I've got some drawers that are going to go in here and then three doors here. Uh, this is on Anna. Anna's site and I'll have a link for that. She's the one I got the plan from but uh, so far it's all three quarter inch plywood and I will be putting um, and it's oak plywood by the way I will be putting um, oak framing boards on trim like so and this will have a hutch that will sit on top of it and then um, also side base hutches so it's going to be a big unit and I'll continue to show you as I proceed um, I've used pocket screws to attach things primarily. I did nail in these center panels from the bottom. There again, if you look here, you can see the pocket holes I put in to attach things. It's a very easy, convenient way to attach things and it makes them very tight and you can put glue with it also to further secure it. I'm going to have a rollout uh, platform here that I will sit my cable box on and I like to hook up my laptop and show uh, movies and things off from my laptop so I can roll this out my cable box will be sitting here. I can then set my laptop right next to it, cable between them, and then feed into the TV. So that's a little, that's a deviation from what she had, but uh, I think it'll fit our needs well. So anyway, it's 18 inches deep. I will be putting a hutch on top that's 16 inches. There's the back side.
Okay, my wife has stained the um, cabinet and sealed it. And first, put the first coat of stain on the doors. I haven't hung the doors yet. I've got them braced on this wood just to get them up to I, so I can see them. <clears throat> They're made with three quarter inch plywood center <clears throat> and then one by threes on the edges. And as you can see, I used the pocket holes to put them together. And that's worked well. Come out with a nice door front and go approximately there um, these are the hinges really nice hinges we got they'll obviously go on like that here's a doorknob we selected and go there There'll be a drawer here. I've got one one of the rails on. I gotta put the other rail on here. This will be the door front. It's a one by four. This face frame I've put on mainly with pocket screws. We've got it overlapping about an eighth. And did have to nail the very top. So there'll be a drawer there. Of course. This is to pull out. I've got to adjust this a little bit. It's a little um, crooked, but this will pull out and we'll have our cable box here. And then when I want to hook my laptop up to the cable box or to the TV, actually, HDMI cord, I can just set my laptop here. So I think that's going to work nicely. And then another drawer here. That's the drawer. Face. Oh, this uh, this will have this slide out. Will have this nice uh, piece of one by two molding on the front of it. So it's shaping up. Well, here is the finished console unit. I will be adding. A hutch to the right. This is a temporary table I have in here. It'll be a hutch on the right base and then a hutch in the top. The console I would put a hutch over it, it over it and then a base and a hutch on the left. But here's the final console product um, minus the door knobs. Here's the door knobs, and I'm waiting to build the uh, side base because it'll have a door on it, and we want to line these all up with that. So it'll probably be somewhere in this area. It's nice brushed bronze. Of course, we put on the hinges and these nice pulls. I uh, used these drawers from another um, unit kind of like this, only had drawers. So I used the drawer and replaced the front with the 1x3 oak, which I came out nice. Um, so these are the doors. That's our surge protector for all of the uh, electrical stuff here. Still have to organize that. But we have three nice doors. Uh, these drawers are shallow. And I made this, which is a kind of unique also, a pull-out shelf. Have the cable box on it. And... This is the remote for the TV. This allows me to um, place my laptop. This allows me to place my laptop 
connects to the cable box because commonly we like to disconnect this HDMI cord from the uh, cable box which is going to the TV and plug it into my HDMI connection on my laptop and then play a movie or whatever off of the laptop onto the TV and I just simply close this down pretty much and then we can watch the TV that's kind of a handy feature so that's a little different adaptation I made to the console so and this um, this was from this other cabinet I had and I replaced the the base with uh, the plywood, the oak plywood, and then put a new one by two on the front. So that's that's kind of a neat feature, I think. So um, I made this 18 inches deep, like the um, plan showed for, and I'm going to make these side bases 16 inches. So I'll put a piece of of uh, trim here. I overlapped the trim by an eighth of an inch. That's common. That is the same as our other our kitchen cabinets. So there'll be a base coming off here and I'll have this covered and this will all be butted up so you won't see this um, oak plywood end. They do have oak plywood strips that you can glue on here if you wanted to leave this exposed and not have the rough plywood edge showing. So that's something you could consider if you want to go that route. But anyway, this is the uh, finished console, less the knobs, and um, I'll sh make more videos as I proceed. It's old John signing off for now, YouTubers.